the Lord is here. God is in the atmosphere. Praise the Lord. The presence of the Lord is here. When God is in your heart, you have the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I ain't got no time for nonsense. I got no time for all this jealous stuff. And throwing up Illuminati signs. And throwing up 6 6 signs. And all this mock of the beast mess. You can't serve Jesus and the devil at the same time. How are you loving Jesus and shaking hands with the devil? The time for you churches to get right with God. You can't tell somebody about Jesus and you ain't living holy. I never saw so many evil churches like I see now. It's the most evil people go to church. They carry the Bible, this is wicked. Not everybody is wicked. But I met some evil folk go to church every Sunday, jealous, gossiping on people, the pastor cheating on his wife. Are they having sex with every girl he prayed for? You can't tell me about Jesus and you a playboy yourself. Come on. The Bible said they have a form of godliness but denying the power. You pastors down in Africa and here in America, stop sleeping with every woman you pray for. You don't be telling your women in the church to take off their dress and lay hands on some woman's breast. The only man who should be laying hands on her breast is her husband. Come on, come on. The way these old playboy churches, where they got the witchcraft going on. God is against witchcraft. God is against devil worship. The Bible said in Exodus chapter 18, verse 22, suffer not a witch to even live. We're not saying to kill them. God would deal with them. Even you male witches. Not only just in Africa, it's right here in America too. In New York, it's all over. Forgot the Ouija boards, the OG boards. That stuff is of the devil. That's a gateway to demons. But when you pick up the Bible and read God's holy word, he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by any word that proceedeth out the mouth of God. But if we're living in the last days, you don't know who's a devil worshiper. So you got devil worshipers in your family. Got devil worshipers going to church. Up there preaching the Bible, but still throwing up 666 signs. And got the mark of the beast. All that is about the Antichrist. The Antichrist is the deceiver, but Jesus Christ, Yahshua, Hamashiach, is our Savior. Honey, we're living in the last days. It became like Babylon, even in church. Anybody who preached the gospel does not mean they've been sent by God. Alarm went, boom, but was not sent. But I want to encourage those of you who's preaching the gospel, keep on preaching the truth. Where the folk cuss. The other day there was a man cursing. That didn't faze God. I chased him away with the Bible in the name of Jesus because he was a devil worshiper. You witches up in Boston are there ripping Bibles. How would you like if the Christians get together and rip up the wicked and that devil worshiping book that you got? God's gonna rip it up. You better repent. The Bible said the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God not going to tolerate your mess. Hallelujah. Look at all these storms and these tornadoes and these hurricanes. That is not mother nature. That's God's nature. We're living in days you can't tell a man from a woman. Honey, you better get some background checks before you get married. So you, won't, so you won't be married no transvestite. Ain't no two men can make a baby. That ain't how God ordained it. Children need a mother and a father. Not two men. Not two women. God told Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply. To have children. That's the way God ordained it. Jesus loves homosexuals. But he hates the homosexuality. Jesus loves lesbians. But he hates the lesbianism, but God can forgive you. He can forgive you if you're willing to repent from your sins. You might have got molested. You might have got raped. Jesus can heal your broken heart. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Woo! Oh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. Ah, I feel Jesus. When you get the Holy Ghost, your gay lover cannot love you like Jesus. God can love you better. But he doesn't love the sin. He doesn't love the sin. Just like those of us who are straight. 
where we do wrong. He doesn't love what I do wrong. He doesn't love my sin. But if we're willing to repent from our sins, he can forgive us. He can wash us with his precious blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. The only sin that God would not forgive is blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Every other sin God can take away if you're willing to repent. That's the purpose why Jesus came to earth, to die on the tree. Although we called the cross, but it was a tree that he was crucified on. Praise the Lord. He shed his blood for you and me to wash away our sins. So we won't have to die and go into a devil's hell. A lie you don't believe that hell is real. You may say that we got hell here on earth. Yes, we do got hell here on earth. But hell beneath the earth is even worse than hell here on earth. The Bible talks about hell in the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 14. I hate to talk about hell. I'm not here to condemn nobody to hell. We all was going to hell at one time. We all was born in sin. I'm here to warn you about hell, not to condemn you to hell. God is a judge. I'm just a messenger. If I don't live right, I'm going to hell. I ain't trying to go to no hell. I have to live what I preach. The Bible said in the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 14, hell has enlarged yourself without measure. There's so many folk down there, ain't no room. Murderers are down there. Racist people are in hell. Witches and warlocks who died are in there. Celebrities who mock God, down there. Yes, sir. Even folk from the days of Son of Gomorrah, down there. The wicked people that God destroyed, Back in the days of Noah, I are in hell. They've been in hell for centuries. That's scary. Decades are waiting for judgment. And to be cast in the lake of fire, which is even worse than hell. According to Revelation chapter 20, verse 14. And John said, and I saw death in hell cast in the lake of fire. Honey, I don't want to go to no hell. I have enough hell here on earth. Lord, forgive me for my sins. I want to live what I preach. There are too many preachers who are playboys in the pool, baby. And trying to tell you how to live holy, and he ain't living holy. Don't tell me about Jesus, you ain't living right yourself. Or they cheating on your wife, begging for money up in the church, up in the work channel. They had some man in Howard children. Or they passing gas on TV, begging for a thousand dollars. What you passing gas and begging for a thousand dollars? That's nasty. Nasty. <laughs> Come on, come on. The Bible talks about greedy dogs loving the slump. I ain't got no time for your mess. I want my soul to be saved. Hallelujah. Repent, repent, and be baptized, every one of you. In the Mahaya Mosata, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He's coming again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's coming back like a thief in the night. He's coming again. You word child of preachers, stop begging for money. Stop trying to con folk out their pocketbook. I don't mind giving money to a real man of God, but not a false prophet. Stop your mess. Come out the devil worship. Come out the Illuminati. Stop throwing up the 666 signs. That's the mark of the beast. Hallelujah. And come to Jesus. Why you have a chance to come to him now? Because tomorrow is not promised to you or me. Hallelujah. God said today, if you will hear my voice, harden not your heart. Take a stand for God. Whether they crush at you, keep on taking a stand for God. If family don't like you, keep on taking a stand for God. If they give you evil looks, if they roll their eyes and shut their teeth, keep on taking a stand for God. They ain't like Jesus. But that's all right. The Bible said there's no servant that's greater than his Lord. But God said, fear not. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. He said, fear not. He shall overcome the world. Because greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. God will fight your battles. He's a lawyer in a courtroom. He'll fight your battles. He's a doctor in a sick room. Take a stand for God. Even your wife don't like you. Job told his wife, you speak like a foolish woman. Those he slay me, yet when I trust in God. Take a stand for God. Even your husband turn against you. I have your children turn against you. Love God more. Take a stand for God no matter what. Take a stand for Jesus no matter who don't like you. If God be for you, he's more than a whole world against you. Whoa, hallelujah. 
I ain't trying to make no buddies. I love people, but I don't trust a lot of buddies. Most of my buddies stab me in the back. Or oh, they laugh in your face, but I'm getting jealous when they see God blessing you. Jesus is my best buddy. God is my buddy. God is the one who stick us closer than a brother. God is my best friend. Hallelujah. God can give you friends. Hallelujah. But Jesus is my best friend. Jesus is my best friend. Jesus is my best friend. Hallelujah. God bless you, man of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Woo! Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the bus driver who loves the Lord. Praise God. The Prince of Peace. The mighty God. The Rose of Sharon. The Lily of the Valley. The bright in the morning star. He's coming again. <coughs> Woo! We got to repent from sin. We got to repent from sin. Thank you, Jesus, so the Lord will live with it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Repent, repent, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Repent, repent. Repentance starts with us. Repent with godly sorrow. With godly sorrow. Oh, hallelujah. God won't let me stop, so I'm going to keep on going until God says stop. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Get another microphone. Thank you, Jesus.